So the next thing I'm going to do is called a dry run. So there's a couple reasons you're going to want to do a dry run. First, if you've never pressed a skateboard before, it's just a good way to get a practice run. And that way you kind of work out any of the kinks before it actually matters because you're going to be really pressed for time when we start gluing. The glue starts to set in about eight minutes, so you've got to work really fast. The other reason that it's a good idea to do a dry run is you want to make sure the bag has no holes in it. So it's a good way to evacuate the bag and make sure that the bag holds a seal before you, again, do your entire glue up, go to seal the bag and find it not keeping the air out. So I've already got the mold in the bag. I'm going to take my veneers, slide them into the bag on top of the mold. Keeping in mind that the top veneer is going to be the bottom of my skateboard. When you are putting the veneers in the bag, and this matters more for the actual glue up, you want to make sure the veneers are centered on the mold both across the width and across the length. Next, I'm going to take this red mesh called a breather netting and stick that underneath the valve. This netting basically prevents the valve from getting stuck to the wood itself, like getting suctioned against the wood. And it also allows us to take air out of the entire bag. So this way we don't end up with like a pocket of air in one of the far reaches of the bag that prevents it from tightening down and compressing the board. Once that's in, I'm going to pinch the black sealing tape closed. Again, this is really important to make sure that it's really tight and closed well. Um, air will find its way back into the bag with any little leaks or gaps in the tape, so definitely be careful with that. Next, you can use a vacuum. I usually use a shop vac, uh, but today I just have this little dust buster. And you can use this to help get air out of the bag initially. So this makes it go a lot faster. And the way you can do that is this valve, there's a top piece that comes off. And this piece is very important. This allows air to flow only one way, which is out of the bag. Without this, air is free to flow both in and out. So we definitely want to keep this on whenever our board is sealed or when we're trying to pump all the air out but it allows us to suck more air out faster, so that's why I like to take it off. So once you get most of the air out, you can start to then pump with the hand pump. And you're going to want to make sure that the bag isn't creeping underneath the wood and getting between the wood and the mold. So it helps to work with someone to do this. Alright, so it looks like the bag is holding a seal, so I'm ready to do my actual glue up now.